out there. If you guys are not from Rogersville, Tennessee, I'm sure you guys get a look at the terrain here. It is rough. These men and women in blue had heat exhaustion. They had injuries. They have tried themselves. I met with a law enforcement a couple days ago to find out where we can set up for this event. And this man was holding back tears. These men and women that are out here looking for Summer Wells love this baby girl as much as every one of us does. They are fighting hard. They have an uphill battle. And we need to give them as much love as we give Summer Wells so they can bring answers and justice for this baby girl. I'm going to hand over the bullhorn. Is guidance? Is guidance the vigil. I'm also on Sarah's panel, so I'm trying to do two things at once. But if her channel saw these pictures, I want to, I'm there for both.
Somebody knew somewhere from way back when. Said she's known her for years. Let me try to walk over. Despite 
the diligent effort of law enforcement, they still don't have much to go on. <laughs> law enforcement needs people's help. They need it. But they need legitimate leads. They need first-hand knowledge. And we want to be able to help law enforcement. We do not want to complicate their job. They already have a complicated and tough job as is. TBI and over a hundred different agents and intelligence and support staff from across this state have been involved in this case. There have been many agents that went out there, like I said, and have injured themselves. I want everybody right now to give law enforcement a round of applause, please. I would like a round of applause for law enforcement. They deserve it. They deserve to know that we stand behind them today and every day to find answers for friends of Summer Wells, for the family of Summer Wells, for Summer Wells brothers that still do not have answers as to what happened to their baby sister. Law enforcement needs to know that we support them. We are not going to criticize law enforcement anymore. We are not going to make their job any harder. I want to open this up for anybody that would like to come up here and talk about how Summer Wells affected their lives. I personally don't know how I got involved in this case. But I can tell you I was compelled to come out here and find out answers. I was compelled to see that property, to know what happened. Whether it was right or wrong, I wanted to know. I was sick of hearing the misinformation online. And I needed to know for myself because this beautiful, blonde-haired, blue-eyed baby vanished. She led me to each and every one of you. We are united because of this beautiful baby. And I want us to be able to help ourselves start healing because we still don't know answers after a year, but we have to support the people that are trying to find them. Would anybody like to come up and speak and tell me how they feel, tell us how they feel and start purging themselves about this baby. Anybody? Thank you. Please tell us your name. Elsie Justice for Victims. Elsie Justice for Victims. I came here because I've lived here over 20 years in this town. And I dealt with the corruption of law enforcement with my own child. She was blonde hair, blue eyes, and six years old. She is right over here at the hotel across from me. She came here with her, with my new grandson. But I'm here to help a vent because I found this on Twitter. Social media does help in cases where Michael Bond, Harmony, Montgomery. Um, uh, someone in McKinney. Cases all over the world. Even adults. And teenagers. And runaways. And so I came in and Betty didn't even know I was going to come. I'm not on her list for this in life. I came willing to volunteer my time tonight and enjoy meeting and greeting everybody around the community. And if you turn to your left and right and look at each other and say thank you for being here, because you are summer army. Do it now. Turn to somebody and say thank you. Right now. Thank you. Thank you. I know who you are. Keep it up. What? And then on top of that, look at your neighbor and say I love you. I know who you are. I Keep it up. Where are you? I won't. That will remain the nameless. Okay. I'm the smart ass of you too. I make the parodies of Piss Penny Keys off. Oh, I got you. I got you. <laughs> so has anybody 
her and start following her and start listening to her because she makes a lot of sense to me. She's intelligent. She's educated. And and then I kept on really listening to her and questioning my uh, questions about what happened this summer. And it really affected me. I go to bed. I'm thinking about summer. I'm praying she's going to be found in the morning. I wake up. I'm having breakfast. I'm having coffee on my back porch and I'm thinking about summer. I jump on the TV set and my son comes up and says, hey daddy, what you doing? I said, I'm watching about Summer Wells. Come on and sit here with me and watch what's happening. Well, who's that? That's Bohorn Betty. Okay, so we sat down and started watching and then we started educating ourselves through, through uh, Andre. Yeah, Andre, Andra, Andra, I'm sorry, honey. I worked on it. And, uh, it really affected my family. And then my wife, she's walking through the living room. She goes, who's that? I said, that's Bo Harlem Betty. And she sat down and she started watching. And uh, this whole case has affected my family for a whole year, sitting down and paying attention and uh, <coughs> listening to the untruths, listening to the liars, listening to all the garbage that came along with it all. But the one person I can depend on is her. And that's my go-to right there. And, uh, I'm proud to be here. My family and I drove here from Logan, Shores, Alabama. And this is a beautiful little quiet little town here. All the other cities here are. Hang on, I gotta go to my car for a minute. I know I was on live with Sharon, I didn't know my phone's about to die. Like-minded people that care. 
enough, we just even though we didn't know her personally, we cared enough to put out effort to help those who didn't know her personally, and the community that is searching for her. That girl came up from Texas. She came from Texas? Texas Equal I Search Exact. I want to let you guys know that law enforcement has fielded over 2,000 tips into this case. 2,000. They have spent tireless nights and hours on this case to find justice for Summer Wells, guys. Without each and every one of us, you know, where would we be today? This, this little girl meant so much. <laughs> her mother reported last seeing her in the afternoon of June 15th outside of their home in the hundreds block of Ben Hill Road. In order to preserve the integrity of the investigation, they will, law enforcement will not be providing any information regarding the timeline. I just want to make sure that we have facts related to this case because we do see people that are streaming uh, to the public and we want to make sure that we are very factual about what is going on in this case right now. Um, they have searched the property. They have searched me. That girl right there in a red and white shirt. She's a friend of Summers.
video, but they can't get the sheet from one Look at the turnout. It's a twinkle Cigarette, I forgot I had it in my phone in my hand. Whoops. I'm an amateur this stuff. This, but I'll tell you what, they did a damn good job. Them mom said the one up in June's court. She just told me that boy's name down there, I can't remember. I know the first name Justin. Something just, Justin, I can't remember. My bad, I didn't. 